I'm Carter, and today's video is on cross-site scripting tags. I found a few in different places, one on wellsfargo.com, and now I found another one on this AOL landing page promoting their new client that does Facebook integration. So I'm going to run through how I exploited the attack, it took about five minutes, and I'm going to explain how you can protect yourself and your scripts from this kind of attack. This email, it's from Facebook, and it says, Join AIM Carter Blizz, which is my username. So I click and I see this cutesy little landing page that says, Hey Carter Blizz. And I look up in the top, and in the query parameter, we see Carter Blizz. So this tells me, Hey, they might be putting it on the page. So then we drop in some extra little code to say, Hey, do we even have tags in this? Can we use script tags? What are we allowed to stuff in there that's going to actually show up on the page? So we're going to write out our little string into the top URL. We're going to hit go, and it's going to pop up. Almost got it. So we got tags. You can see that right under Carter Blizz, you can see that we got tags. Okay. Now we're going to try and put in a script tag. So once again, in the URL, right where it says UR equals Carter Blizz, we're going to start writing out our script tag. Now. Here's what's interesting with XSS. You can get their text on the on your text on their page, but it's not always going to come out exactly right because there's different encoding problems. Their HTML might interfere with the HTML that you're trying to inject. But you can see that we got a script tag, which pretty much means you can do whatever you want. So when I first started doing this, we found that the anchor tag wouldn't go in properly. So I just said, well, what if I wanted to put a YouTube video on here? So I grabbed the YouTube embed code, paste it into the URL to see if we can get it to pop up on the page. With any luck, this is all the steps you have to do. But as you'll see with this one, it is removing the spaces out of the character encoding and we're not getting our thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a script tag that writes the object to the screen but is encoded properly where we can get it in the URL and onto the page. So we're going to go to a thing that converts a string into a list of char codes and then eval that char code to document.write the object to the screen. So we create our little script tag, we put it into the URL, let it load, do, 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 do. and we get YouTube. So, YouTube starts loading, and poopity poop, we've got a video on a AOL loading page. So you can see how fast it is to exploit one of these cross-site scripting attack holes. How do you protect yourself? The same way you protect yourself from SQL injection sanitize all user input. The query parameter for my username comes in and they don't check it for any HTML. Stripping HTML would prevent this attack, but because they don't, now Carter Blizz comma becomes Carter Blizz script tag comma, and I'm able to inject whatever code with whatever functionality I want into their page. If you have any questions, get with me on Twitter and I'll be happy to help, and as a little challenge to all y'all people out there, there is a hidden cross-site scripting hole that I've intentionally left open on the archive section of carterkull.com from when I was a little bit dumber coder. So if you want to go and find that and exploit it, send me an email and I'll send you some prize. Yep. Later.